I prepare this dish twice a day since folks ask for it so often. I even get people off the street asking me to make it over and over, and I just can't stop. I turned off the doorbell, patted the doors from the inside, hoping for relief. But all kidding aside, it's a simple recipe that will blow your taste buds away. Plus, it's a total bargain. Let me just show you how it's done. Depending on what's available in the store, you can get young or old cabbage, it doesn't really matter. This salad will hit the spot no matter what. Honestly, it's a guaranteed crowd pleaser. Now, the amount is pretty arbitrary. I'm using approximately 150 grams of cabbage here. Thinly sliced. It's a salad, not soup, so it should be more like sticks rather than long, thin slices. Everything goes into a bowl. Next, I add some cucumber. Roughly estimating, I have about one-fourth of a cabbage, two cucumbers, a bit of secret ingredient onion. In total, this costs around 100 rubles, or about... $1.40. I mean, it's really... Gee. I slice the cucumber into thin discs, then into julienne strips. The cucumber goes straight into the bowl with the cabbage. Hmm. Should we add the second cucumber? Yes, let's do that. I was considering cutting down the cost to about 90 rubles, but well, it's okay at 100. This should serve two decent portions anyway. Now for the green onion, be careful with it. It's really potent during spring, so don't let it overwhelm you. It's not about whatever you're thinking of. It's just that it has a seriously strong aroma. So, slice it thinly into rings. You could also add some dill here, cilantro if you're into that, or even parsley, which is rather neutral and goes with almost everything. For those who've got sea grapes, those would be a great addition. Although most people probably have no idea what I'm talking about. If you've ever been to Thailand, you might have seen these kind of salad bars at food courts, where you can choose what you want in your salad. You could just ask them to add this and that ingredient, then pick a dressing. It's kind of like a salad construction kit. They have about five dressing options, usually. In those dressing options, the spring spring onions, meat, cucumbers, and cabbage. There are these interesting bowls with sea grapes, round small balls that look like a grape cluster, just much smaller. They taste like the sea, not like seafood, but more so seaweed. These mini bursts of seaweed flavor amidst the leaves elevate the salad's taste significantly. I add a pinch of salt, just a little bit, and some lemon juice for acidity. I didn't have a lemon, so I spritzed some lime juice here. I need that natural tartness, so please, no vinegar at all, whatsoever. If you don't have a lime or a lemon, look for a tangerine. It'll add sweetness, not much acidity, but it's still much better than any vinegar in this dish. Mix it up lightly, just to stir here and there. Check to see if the proportion of ingredients is all right, and it's perfect. Now time for the oil. I prefer using olive oil, but not the extra virgin variety. I take the regular filtered one without any bitterness for a smooth taste. Just a smidgen and the main ingredient. You saw it right, it isn't a teaspoon, it's salmon roe. Just plain salmon roe, nothing out of the ordinary. This product is simply amazing. My buddy Sasha Jerkin recommended this combination to me. The guy really knows his stuff. We've cooked together before. Actually, I was his, his guest, and we prepared this lovely Christmas goose that some... Some of you said looked burned, but that's just how the hoisin sauce color turns out. 
I was really ticked off, and people were already saying stuff like, the goose is burnt, we won't even try it, without even tasting it first. But Sasha is a brilliant chef. He suggested this exact combination, and you put literally two spoons of roe, no more than that. It's going to be a game changer. It was for me. This basic ingredient makes a simple cabbage salad, just with basic ingredients. Taste incredible. All right, be careful now. We're almost there. One little cucumber tried to escape, but we caught him. This is a nutritious salad, very economical, and you know what? Get yourself some salmon roe, and you'll see it in a different light. All right, there we go. Almost ready. Salmon roe can be a bit salty, which is why I added a bit of salt at the beginning. Not to go overboard with it. You know what it reminds me of? This salad is like a replacement for mayo. Here we have salmon roe instead of mayo. It's a bit runny. Yes, but do you want to add anything else? I honestly can't think of anything right now. Well, actually, there is a tiny little thought that just crossed my mind. I'll add a little bit of roasted sesame seeds. Sure, the cost goes up, but it's worth it. You can add some crunch with the seeds, that's it. Now, you see, you could make this little dish two, five times a day. This salad is not only nutritious, it's also low in calories, which all you ladies love, right? The eat and lose weight mantra. For guys, it's probably not hearty enough, but I hope you're watching my channel not only for one dish. This works nicely as a side. Prepare a few at once to have several courses in your meal. Yeah, an appetizer, a main, a dessert. There we go. All right. I won't ruin the culinary masterpiece in the making in this plate. I'll just try it from, from here directly. The smell is wonderful. As someone who loves cucumbers, you really have to try this out. It is simply a delicious dish. Barely takes three minutes to prepare. Come on and try it out. See how much you'll crave this fresh, crunchy stuff during spring. Can you taste the aromatic, crunchy salmon roe instead of dressing? You might start adding roe to your traditional Olivier salads instead of mayo. You can hardly taste any fishiness. It's perfect. Sasha told me his kid devoured a whole bowl, even though he could never make him eat cabbage and cucumber before. That's something, right? I've always been a sucker for such unusual combinations. All right, cheers, take care, goodbye, see you later.